Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mint flips, where I'm a stay-at-home dad and a part-time eBay reseller. And every 100 subscribers, there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. I've got nine ores going out, one pending. You know how that goes. Who knows if they'll pay for it. But some pretty good sales, so I am not upset at all. I don't know about everywhere else, but the weather the last two days here, two and a half days, has been insane. And I mean all aspects of it, my children are losing their minds, okay? We had barometric pressure through the roof. I don't know if you know, that affects how crazy children are. Probably adults too, but mostly children. Um, I used to work at a youth center and in the office we had a barometric pressure reader, gauge, meter, whatever you would call it. It was no doubt, every time it would be up. Uh, or down, whichever one makes it bad, I don't recall. Up, yeah, bare match pressure's up. It was, without a doubt, it would be insane. And it wouldn't, well, like kids were being bad. There would just be like a weird, nervous energy in the air. It was, it, it was, it was proven to me over many years working there. But then we had rainstorm, snowstorm, hail, lightning during a snowstorm that turned into lightning during a rainstorm, winds that are moving my house. The hail, when it hit, I thought something happened. I thought like, I don't know, my roof had collapsed and it was rain pouring in my house. It was nuts. I had to, it was one of those things like I had, I had to get out of bed and like make sure everything was okay and then never go back to sleep. So, you know, that only take me a month to recover from losing a night's sleep, but let's go ahead and pull some orders. B3C is a candy cane pin. B3C is one of these cool looking candy cane pins. I think these came in a Mikhail mystery box. I'm not positive on that, but I think so. $8 free shipping. I had two of those, so it was a multi-quantity listing. Um, they sent me an offer of like $4 free shipping. I know not everybody knows how shipping works, but I mean, come on. It seems like everyone has shipped something in their life that they would know there is a zero chance anyone could ever ship you something for $4 free shipping. But $8 free shipping, it's okay. Next up, B2. Uh, it's two doll wig things, but for some reason it's on B2. It's a set of two all cooped up wavy locks so it is this one in uh red and in gray silver whatever you want to call that actually been debating that in my house 17 dollars free shipping for those i've been playing a match game with thea where i just took like the color energy cards from pokemon and i have matching ones you know the match game memory game but it's because i have hundreds of them and if it gets destroyed playing it doesn't matter i can just go grab some other ones and keep playing instead of paying for a memory game that she will of course destroy and then having to buy another one but some of them are silver gray and i keep debating like what i asked everybody in the house what color would you call this because it's both the background's gray the symbol in the middle silver but teaching a kid should i go with silver should i go with gray should i just switch it out for a different color actually now i say it out loud that's probably what i should do but i've been going back and forth that's not good for teaching your kid colors um but she loves it she definitely loves that game. Next up is a multi-order order going out to a viewer. First up is a lot of vintage snapback trucker hats. And let's see, I think it is this one. It is with MT hole diggers on the front there. And then see for that, $20.99 free shipping. And then next up, B1B, for both of them, is two Tupperware storage containers. It is this one in red, and this one in green. And for the pair of those, 2068 free shipping. And those are going out to Leslie and Noah. Hello, Noah. He's a very cute little boy of my friend, Leslie. Leslie actually worked on Mackinac Island or works on Mackinac Island, but she worked with me and the infamous Mikhail. So she knows him as well. Hopefully when I meet up with him, I'll actually get to see you two as well. I, it's been so long since I've seen Leslie that I've never met her son. She also has never met my children. Hopefully, you know, when you get to be adults, 
your friends, it's just one of those things where it's like, hey, we should hang out sometime, we should get together sometime, and you just say that over and over again until you die. That's that's what that turns into. So hopefully this summer we get to link up. I appreciate it very much. I will throw in some tip of the mitt flip stuff for Leslie and Noah. Um, again, Noah, hey buddy. I think it's very cool when kids watch the show with their parents. I call it a show. Is it a show? Video? Watch my videos with their parents? Whatever. I just think that's cute. Next up, B1C is a Kemper Originals. It's a Judy. Uh, Judy 89 Light Brown. That one. That was easy enough. Hey, I like that noise. What do we got? $11.99 free shipping for that while eBay's app decides to actually do stuff. It'll say, hey, you got a notification. It'll make the noises. Hey, there's a notification. Then the notifications gets there like whenever it feels like. Th their app is such, it's such trash for how big of a company it is. They, two years ago, maybe even three years ago, made a huge push to being like, use the app. Stop using the computer. The app, the app, the app. They wanted people to transfer to the phone. They wanted to make the phone better. And then they just somehow have a disconnect between the two of them. Did they ever fix the ship? No, they still didn't fix the shipping, ship by dates. On the computers, they're correct. On the app, they're nonsense. Oh, ship by Saturday. Saturday's not a shipping day. I know you can ship on a Saturday, but it's not a business day. It's never done that. It Just stupid. Just, just fix it. Just make it competent. <laughs> it's all. People are asking for miracles. They're ag asking for a functional app that doesn't say stupid stuff like ship by Saturday. I don't know why it all of a sudden turned into an old lady, but <laughs> it is what it is. Next up, B4 is an Einkor five ply pot. Sauce pot? Stock pot. That's, that's the word I'm trying to think of. Stock pot. And it is heavy. I mean, real heavy. This, I mean, it's a really nice Einkor, Incor. This is the kind of stuff I used to dream about finding. Pots and pans. Just turned into me doing dishes. A lot. A lot. Because we have a combination. We have a very old farmhouse ceramic sink with very small basins. So you have to do the dishes four times a day, minimum. So then when I'd have to wash a bunch of Pyrex and pots and pans and Tupperware and all this kind of stuff, now I'm doing the dishes ten times a day. I liked them. They were great for the time. The category got flooded over the last... It wasn't over the last year, but the previous two years flooded. So that's one reason to be out. But it was just too time consuming. If I find them clean, like if I find a copper bottom uh, revereware and it's clean and the copper is still coppery and I don't have to actually wash it, I'd probably still pick it up if it had the lid. But for this, I had it listed $39.99, which was, I think, the cheapest one, but it's got no lid. That's hard to sell. I, I've been trying to give it away. Um, $19.99 plus shipping. And it's, I think, unfortunately, a little too big to go um, USPS. But that is to be determined. But something like that, I probably paid $2.99 for it at a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. But it's been listed forever. Next up. Oh, note from buyer. Uh, please pack the order securely. Enter the trap. Blah, 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 blah. Drop shipper. It's a drop shipper. That's what that means. Do I care? No. I love drop shippers because they spend money in my store and they pay almost immediately every time. Sometimes you'll find the ones where you can tell they've put in an offer in like five or six and then they just cancel the ones that don't come up the price they wanted. Uh, but I, I'm never mad about someone who wants to buy my things. Even if they send me some generic thing. At least they didn't go as far as saying it's a birthday gift, so please don't put a packing slip in it. If It would always be on something that's like this one, like a remote. Uh, this one is a JVC remote. Actually, I think it's this one here. I probably should have checked the number before I actually committed to grabbing this one. But a... Uh, no, it's not. It's the one I was digging past. See? There I go, wasting time. Is this one right here? I actually just listed this. Um, this came in a Mikhail Mystery Box. Uh, JVC LP2036034 DVD VCR. And for that remote, 1349 free shipping. I love drop shippers. And this is an interest, interesting one. I had just in a previous Mikhail Mystery Box got a couple ballasts. I said, oddly, the other ones I have, a couple sold right away, and then 
just were sitting around. And then today I got an offer countered and they went for it. It is Philips Advance ICN Ballasts new. It's these two right here, which could have just been the algorithm because I listed some. So then the ones I have listed get pushed up, but that really doesn't make sense for something like this, a ballast where you're shopping for that thing. This doesn't pop up like you're, Hey, you might be interested in this thing. You're just shop. Like this is a thing you buy cause you need it. So algorithm, that doesn't make sense. Who knows? Could just be timing, but $42 free shipping. I did these free shipping because they will go into a priority flat mate, flat rate envelope. And so I can bake the cost of shipping right into the price. And because they bought two, just like combined shipping on anything else, when you combine shipping, you save money and therefore make more money. So $42 free shipping for the pair. I don't recall what I had them listed for originally, but more than that. And then next thing up on the desk is Nike Air Jordan uh, showcase. Well, here is Jordan whoop, whoop, whoop. making a mess, causing problems. Okay, these look like they're it. Hopefully, they're it. And those are it. Great. I will double check thoroughly, even though at this point I'm down to so few, the chances of them being wrong are very slim. And for those, I took a significant offer. They were listed $149.99 plus shipping. They were on sale for $134.99 free shipping. I took an offer of $95 plus shipping. I mentioned when I sold the shoes last video, video before, something like that. I've made so much money off them. And the market has changed. The economy has changed. All these things move it along. Give me, give me the money, move it along. It's still a fair price when I paid whatever it works out to, like $23.50 for them, and I got $95 plus ship. I'm taking that. Now, a year ago, nine months ago, I don't think I would have. But right now, let's go. And then the order that just came in, C1A is a door and window, C1A, uh, security thingy mabobbies for Xfinity. They are XHS2. You put them on your doors and your windows and it lets your security system know if your door or window has been opened. Got those in Mikhail Mystery Box. I listed them yesterday or day before yesterday. $29.99 free shipping. That's full asking price. And I priced them what I thought was low. I just wanted to move them along. And I also, they were all taped together so that they wouldn't separate because these are two completely different pieces, of course, because your door or window has to be able to open. So I priced them cheap. Just wanted to move them along. Didn't want to clean the tape off. The time it would have taken would have made it not worth probably doing. Um, so $29.99 free shipping. I love it. Here's a quick shipping tip, packing up the shoes to go out. And when you're putting your label, on it has nothing to do with the shoes just has to be what i'm packing and i thought of it when you're putting your label on a box try to the best you can get as much of the label on cardboard and not on the tape if you can get the label completely on the cardboard optimal if you can get most of it on the cardboard acceptable but when you put it on the tape it makes it very easy to peel off the reason I know this is because any box that sits around my house for more than three seconds, my toddler starts peeling stuff off it. So when the labels are on the tape, she just has a sticker at that point. It peels off clean and she sticks it to whatever, usually dad's face or one of her toys, the wall. Um, so yeah, on the cardboard and it will actually somewhat bond to the cardboard instead of on the tape where it preserves the stickiness where you could pull it back off. Something else I forgot to mention earlier, which I probably splice this in where it doesn't seem like I forgot to mention it. The uh, tip of the Mip Flips Facebook group has been basically nothingness. To tell you the truth, I meant to make a page and I accidentally made a group and then I never changed it because by the time I figured that out, there was like 400 people in the group. So I was like, oh, I guess now it's a group. Um, <laughs> it does allow for some other stuff, but I, I'm not active on it. Nobody else is active on it. it. I basically use it to post my videos so that they are also on Facebook. So, cause some people don't use YouTube. They just scroll through the Facebook and watch videos that way. So I've been trying to think of a way for me to add some value to the group beyond me just sharing my videos. And so what I 
decided to do, I was doing it on my own personal Facebook a little bit, but if I share it to the group, it still goes to my personal Facebook. So what's the difference? Except for the fact that it adds value to the group. I w have started, I'm gonna try to do one a day. I doubt I'll be able to stay consistent with that. Sharing like nostalgic commercials or, you know, like for like B BK Kids Club or nostalgic toys or foods. Like one I just shared today was the Hostess Pies, which were gross. I remember specifically being sad because they were gross. They're the, they were like vanilla pudding. And I, if I have a pie, I want it to have fruit in it, but they were green. They were the Ninja Turtles ones. And you got, it was like a mail-in, you could get a card. I think I did that as well. I don't recall, I probably have it somewhere. And then in the comments, when I post those things, those nostalgic things that make you go, oh, I remember those. Um, I'm gonna post comps to those. So you can see, oh, that was cool. I wonder if that's worth any money. The first one I posted was some Goosebumps Pogs. And then the picture I shared from a random group of nostalgic, like 90s things. I think that's the name of the group, 90s Nostalgia. I started following a bunch of these types of groups. The comp I found, or the comp I shared, was the one from the photo of this group. It wasn't shared as a, oh, look what's sold. They had just had a picture and they, so maybe the person who had listed it used that picture. Maybe the person that sold it used that picture. I, I have no idea the connection, but I just thought that was funny. I found the actual listing, but the pies for the wrapper, you get $65, $75 for one of these hostess wrappers. That one's nuts. So I'm gonna do that. If you're in the group or you wanna join the group and join in on that fun, I think that's a, I think it adds value to the group uh, above the zero value I was giving it, and also I enjoy it. There is a link to the Facebook group in the description if you desire that. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other. This really neat. Hey, hey, hey. Do they, do they ever you know, really fix things? I have no idea what this is. What do I care? Let's go. I'm good at this.